All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for The, the Eminence, Eminence and Shadow, Shadow season, season one, episode three. three. Yeah. The harem is leaving. Uh, yes. To, Why? to return later. Mm, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Right. Yes, definitely. They, they need to become stronger in order to be worthy of you, Sid. You right, know, that's right. what's going on here. Right. Yeah. They, they have their own personal journeys to go on. Right. Because mm -hmm. they're going to be fully realized characters. I do kind of love the idea of that. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, why not? Let's right. do it. If Sid is the focus point for our protagonist to be this Chunibio reality warping god, mm -hmm. and then he'll just remain this kind of, you know, caricature as he is, the 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 girls the harem are going to be like the most like in depth like crazy oh, like absolutely. you know yes. ridiculous backstories because, and like because all you have the... to fully commit and make it competitive for the best girl war like that you just you have to right, right. it's an arms race right. I'm a four girl myself you mm. know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. wait actually I don't know how to count in Greek beyond alpha beta uh, yeah. beta <laughs> I don't know yeah. We'll see. It'll be oh, fine. We'll see. Yeah, you see, this show is going to be very educational. Uh, that's true. I'm, I'm very yeah. excited for that. Mm -hmm. And also in the educational sense that, like, I don't know if I've watched enough isekai. Mm -hmm. Some of these jokes are, like, a bit above me, I, I, I feel, at times, you know? Like, I'm, I'm excited to get immersed in that whole, yeah. that whole cr culture of things. So, all right, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
And then, of course, she has Yeah, all food. the food. Oh my Thank god. god. Wow. Alright, yeah, I understand the fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> nope, she's like, your frankness is so attractive. Nope. Ah. I will join you. She wants to get stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like me, for real. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright. He's very proud about his original, you know. Yeah, yeah. アレクシアは攻撃は当てないし、動きも遅い。うん。魔力もあまり。オッケー。この稽古の目的、技や返しの確認を実直にこなしてるんだ。Right, right, right. And as you say that, that is what's happening. Yep.一言で言うと、意識が高い。Okay. Like your hyper awareness is oh my god. He's making his best girl. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. We won't even need to have a best girl war with regards yeah, to the, uh -huh. the numbers. <laughs> what? Wait. 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 Ah! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, hey, I'm I'm out. I'm out. Uh -huh. I actually respect that, bro. That, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. like, nope, peace, not my problem. Yep. Not my division. Mm-hmm. Magic karaoke? Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay. Cool, so she's not purely at the whims of his imagination. Yeah. Right. Unless that was what he wanted. No, 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 no. She's her own character. This is cool. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wait. What? You're right. <laughs> 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 the lead! Oh my god. <laughs> Incredible. Awesome. So he just wanted to be a sugar baby. Yeah. He wants to be stepped on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fido. Yeah. I mean, hey, I. You know? I can't blame his taste. Yep. He got that dog in him. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like him talking with other women, though? Hmm. Ah. Okay. Right. Calling her bluff, basically. Right. Hmm. She's frustrated. It's not working. Right, right. <laughs> hi, hi, yeah, I knew yeah. he was gonna. <laughs> All right, hi, hi. yeah, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Biting ice cream, you monster. He didn't even push it down into the cone to make the cone more enjoyable. All right. <laughs> I love that he's voicing yeah. the wolf's like, wow! <laughs> yeah. Alright, this dynamic is perfect. Yeah, I, I do yeah. legit love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's just the basics with no flaws. 
Ah, this is the salve. This is the mm -hmm. the warm part here. The failed princess. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Mm. Right, for getting knocked out round two, yeah. もし世界の裏側で不幸な事件が起きて、百万人死んでも割とどうでもいい。大抵の苦しみ。でもどうでもよくないこともあるだから、僕は君の件が好きだよ。<laughs> Fight me now, yeah. Tada Arto Sereba Jibunga Skina Mono Tanini Ste Sareto Haragan Tatsu. Son Nakimochi. Let's fight. That little mm -hmm. Yeah. Sayonara. Wait, shit, did she dump me? Am I am I out of gold now? <laughs> no. This is great. Mm, 27 gold pieces. Yep. <laughs> you about to get beaten up? Oh. And you were the last scene with mm. her. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You no nonsense. Them. Come on. <laughs> oh, oopsie. All right, ah, Sid. I just fantastic episode. Okay. Th yeah, this is a yeah, great episode. Yeah. I this episode make made me like Sid so much more. Oh yeah. Because me too. like I feel like this is where we were able to fully get his like personality outside right. of just being a Chinevio, right? Like yeah, being the eminence in shadow. Yeah, the eminence yeah. in shadow. The just just the the whole ah gold coins oh you think i can be bought my money you're absolutely right you yeah, know yep. like yes woof woof you know i'll do whatever you want <laughs> i love that so much like because it it feels like i'm able to get the the sort of quantum superposition analysis right. enjoyment out of this that i was able to get out of haruhi with the mm -hmm. Everything that happens can theoretically be tied back to his desires right even the things that don't go his way yes. right in fact, especially the yes. things that don't go his way, right? Uh -huh. And so, you know, yeah, the idea that, oh, the super popular girl comes along that everybody is, you know, adores mm -hmm. and everything. And, yep. oh, he doesn't actually want to be with her. No, he no, does no, everything. No. Now, even the confession that he didn't mean. But that, I want you know, her to want to be with me. But I want her to want to be with me <laughs> to the point where she will pay me. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, the, the levels of, like... Like, like dick stroking, like, like incel dick stroking mm -hmm. is so good. It's so funny, and yet it and is yet being kept funny. And it's being kept funny because they've come up with a very high level mm -hmm. like reason as to why oh, this yeah. is the case. He's like, I, I need, I do need. Well, money. no, not him. Oh, okay. talking about yeah. her reason. Mm, She's right. like the the like well, right. monumentally because, interesting focus of because this, you have to commit here. to the bit, you know, right? Like no, she actually is wanting to be with somebody that she mm -hmm. can manipulate and control. Yep. So it's entirely, it, entirely for the purpose of putting up a front and the yep. uh, mm -hmm. the focus of the oh we're going to fake this relationship until it potentially becomes a thing is a storied trope. Oh but yeah. The idea that no, actually. Right now, mm -hmm. in the episode, there is nothing to say that their relationship will go beyond where it is right now. Oh. Now, what do you know? The <laughs> very specific thing that mm -hmm. uh, he uh, always puts himself into the position of the I will save you person. Right, right, right. You know, yeah. is happening because what do you know? The the woman walked around later at night and got mm -hmm. kidnapped. <gasps> On top of... Uh, 
the random thing that he says that is like the most minimal bare bones yep. nothing like no thought put into it thing right. oh that's actually the perfect thing to for for you to say to her and it gets her so flustered because no 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 this is a professional thing why are you actually saying something sincere well, now you, i'm going to leave you, you triggered know. my response to the thing that my sister told me right right when i was uh basically on my on my lowest point with regards to mm -hmm. competing with her right and then she said it in a way that could be interpreted as mocking or maybe at the very least belittling. Sure. I'm like, it's okay. I like your fencing. Right. And then, ah, this guy says it. Why Why did you say that? There's no mm -hmm. reason for you to say that. There's nothing specific that you're tying this to. And he's like, no, there isn't. <laughs> like, it's, it's. I just don't like people thinking that they can have an opinion that's different than mine without me denying their reality right and yeah. substituting my own yeah, literally yeah. and so then yeah she goes off but th the thing is it's even better because it's not just that he might have to save her mm -hmm. but that the way that this is going down it will also mean a comeuppance for the 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 you know betrothed dude right right, right. Zenon, you know, yeah yeah and 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 sid will absolutely be like the all right, I'm going along with what you want, you know, right? And then and then the universe will basically smack the dude upside the head and be like, you suck, you're wrong, right, he's right. right, you know? And he'll get to, I mean, he won't try and parade it, but, no, you know, no, no, everybody no. else will for him because, you know, God, because, I, man, this I'm, guy I'm, was so wrong. I'm so ready. Like, uh, the, the uh, yeah. The, the level of uh, seriousness with which Sid takes everything that he's doing here mm -hmm. And yet still tries to, in his head, do the, ah, yes, you'll break up with me now. Right. Oh, right, you'll do this now. But you won't. Meaning that, you're right, there's some level of this that is similar to the, I'm bullshitting my way through the world building uh -huh. with the whole uh, Diablos cult and all that. Right. But while this is very similar mm -hmm. to what happened in the real world... There are some very key differences, though. We actually got independent side character connection to Alexia's backstory stuff. The yes. idea that Iris is this other character that's mm -hmm. being built up that has no real connection to Sid in any way, shape, or manner here. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that there's there's the possibility that if he's like an anchor point if you will yeah for this reality uh-huh you know he's like the, the anchor being and him him moving shapes things there's going to be like waves you know where it'll continue the energy from that will dissipate out beyond the initial intent you know or the initial even subconscious sure, intent. because and and there is the whole question of like is it that he's rewriting the world or that that's always how the world was no, no, you it, know, kind of a thing. It's, it, it's yes and. It's yes and. You yeah, know? yeah. There's, yeah. there's, there's no, there's no mm -hmm. point in getting into the weeds of it. It right. is and it is, you know. Yeah, exactly. So, right. so at some level, the part that excites me is that is he accidentally creating beyond the view of the player character? You know, like he can view uh -huh. only this, but there's things well, that are rippling out because if Iris is this way, then there's people that trained her and you know basically prepped her in order to be this you know, goddess of a princess okay. or what have you. But those people aren't, you know, there's no capacity in his imagination for them yet. He's focused on the, sure. I get well, money, I'm the eminence in shadow, I'm yeah, the most yeah. important thing, and, even though I'm, you know, background character A. Right, know? and this is where um, I think the, uh, and this might not entirely be directly connected to the thing you're getting at, but mm -hmm. the thing of the, you know, the harem of girls, like, leaving, mm -hmm. I think that's actually really important for the world building and characterization of him because if his will is being made manifest, uh -huh. we need to actually have confirmation of whether you're talking about conscious will or subconscious will. Sure, yeah. And that, I think, I think it's think subconscious. Is, and I think that was the confirmation that it's subconscious yes. will. And that's where it can get really interesting because that's effectively his anxiety about, oh, you know, I'm used to being rejected by people. People so, think my whole hero thing is stupid. Yeah. Right, so naturally they're going to reject me. Mm -hmm. But the real desire is that deep down he doesn't want that to happen. Right, deep so, down he wants them to secretly want him. Exactly, and so yeah. because he has that internal... To need him. <laughs> that internal conflict of his, uh, his own perception of reality versus desires, mm -hmm. he has this thing happen where he sees it as being, mm -hmm. ah, right, this is what I expect. 
and so they're leaving me, but then actually they are going to be going to take it super seriously and do the whole thing, they're all, right? They're all getting ready to fight the cult of the Exactly, yeah, yeah, like exactly. They're, they are actually going to do it. And so in the situation here, I think it's the same kind of a thing. And because it's something that is tied to romance, that is something that gets at something that's much more of a vulnerability of his, mm -hmm. rather than just, oh, I'm going to make up this crazy story because I mean, I'm bullshitting versus I mean, like, I mean, there, there could be the vulnerability side of it, and it could also just be the, it'd be really fucking dope to have myself be so fucking cool oh, no, that yeah. I'd be able to reject the oh, sure. hottest girl in the school. Oh, no, absolutely, right? And and just because there is the possibility of something does not mean that is something that the story will specifically explore in detail. Mm -hmm. But that is one of the things that's so wonderful about having somebody that truly bends reality to their will. Right. Because then what the show decides to explore and confirm kind of mm -hmm. is less important necessarily than the journey that you get and all of the potential implications that you right. can then read into. You yeah. know, And that's where I could see people being able to take this show very seriously yeah. because it's the, no, 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 see all the stuff that's here? And yet maybe it's just that he wants to, you know, be able to reject the, yeah, yeah. you know, popular girl at school. Yeah. But, but yeah, very, yeah. very fun and silly episode. Mm -hmm. I loved the dynamic poses and the oh, yeah. way it was that great. she would like lean over for the money. Mm -hmm. That was, that was so good. Yep. I also just love that um, he selected these two to be oh, yeah. his friends. Uh -huh. Like we're not even getting the like, the point of how he has the capacity to make friends. But no, he just selected them. Like, mm -hmm. they came as a little package. At yep. his character creation screen, mm -hmm. he's like, choose side friends. Ah, those ones will do just fine. Right. Yeah, so they, will, they will properly, you know, be people that I can be around in, in proximity to so that that way they can be cover mm -hmm. so that I'll be hiding in plain sight rather than be an obvious mm -hmm. loner or mm -hmm. something where people right. might suspect something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally, mm -hmm. totally. But all yep. right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.